After Somali pirates from a hijacked European merchant vessel shot down a drone launched from a NS Kolkata, and even fired at the destroyer, Indian Navy's Marcos Commandos air dropped from C-17 aircraft, and they coerced all 35 pirates to surrender, and ensured safe evacuation of 17 crew members. After Pakistan and Bangladesh, Maldives has received Turkish Bayraktar TB2 drones and the Maldives president unveiled the first drone at a ceremony yesterday. Israel Aerospace Industries has signed its first ever corporate social responsibility agreement with the Indian Institute of Technology Delhi, to collaborate on applied research, and collaborative projects and training. Guyana Defence Force would soon acquire two new Dornier 228 aircraft from India. IIT Madras and DRDO have already carried out successful firing of 76mm ramjet artillery shells, but the last month's 155mm ramjet artillery test failed, which is now undergoing some changes. The bids of Jindal Defence's Taurus T9, and Lokesh Machines Limited's Ashmi gun has been selected in the Indian Army tender to purchase 550 SMGs. The DRDO is exploring the development of a loitering munition variant of the Obias target drone, that could potentially be offered for export to countries seeking cost-effective options. An Indian Army contingent is heading for Seychelles to participate in the 10th edition of joint military exercise with the Seychelles Defence Forces from 18th March. French firm Dassault Aviation is caught in a conundrum, as even after increasing the current traffic production rate from the current 13 aircraft to 20 aircraft per year, the massive 211 Rafale fighter jets order backlog might take over 10 years to complete delivery. Several potential new export customers seeking swift deliveries, might also be discouraged by this extended wait time. Dassault views India as a major Rafale customer, and is eyeing the Dassault Alliance facility in Nagpur, to help address the backlog, and even fulfill 114 Rafale F4 and 26 Rafale Marine orders from Indian military. According to media reports, Hindustan Aeronautics will be responsible for manufacturing five prototypes of AMCA, and while the earlier plan was to establish a new joint venture facility under the Tamil Nadu Defence Industrial Corridor for full-scale AMCA production, however, recent media reports suggest a change in strategy. Hindustan Aeronautics will offer its existing facilities in Nashik to the private sector partner for AMCA production, as it will be a faster and more cost-effective solution, and Nashik already boasts a well-established aerospace ecosystem, which could prove beneficial for AMCA production. The RDO's Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory is actively developing next-generation alloys for the AMCA program, that includes carbon fiber reinforced polymers, that offer exceptional strength and rigidity, and also reduced heat radiation and radar reflections, that will further enhance AMCA's stealth capabilities. High-tech steels and specialized aluminum alloys are also being developed, that will offer a balance of strength weight and affordability, making them suitable for various AMCA components. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark,